Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with GetOnStream.com and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Blue Yeti microphone to get the best possible audio quality. I remember when I got my Blue Yeti, I was so excited to set it up and get really good audio. However, I set it up and it sounded pretty terrible and I was disappointed. I thought, you know, is my mic broken or something? But that was not the case. I just had not set everything up correctly. I was using the wrong settings. So I'm going to show you the settings that you should use on your physical Blue Yeti. What should you select on this to get the best audio quality physically from this piece of equipment and then i'm going to show you inside streamlabs what you should be using in there what settings in there i'm going to show you three little settings in streamlabs or obs that is going to massively improve the sound quality off your blue yeti microphone so let's go ahead jump into the video here and show you exactly what i'm talking about if you do enjoy this video please do give it a big thumbs up we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers here on the channel as fast as possible so hit that subscribe button if you're new here and let's go so if you want to get the best possible audio quality out of your blue yeti there's a couple of things you want to do with the actual microphone and then there's a couple of things we're going to do on the computer here in a second but the first thing you want to make sure is that when you're speaking into this microphone right here you want to make sure that this side is facing you so the side with the blue on it uh, and the mute button that is what you want to face you and use this microphone sitting like this straight up and you talk into this part right here you do not face it and speak down into the microphone like you would maybe like a singing microphone or something like that we want to speak into the side of it if you guys want to see a little bit more information on that there's actually an article on our website down below that you can check out to see you know the different settings and stuff like that from where you should speak into it but for streaming the best way to set it up is like this next thing you want to do is take a look at the other side off the microphone right here and there's going to be a couple more settings you're going to have your gain and then your pattern i would definitely recommend setting your pattern to this little heart shaped like one down here if we can get it to focus this little heart shaped one the third one in essentially what that means is you're going to be speaking into one side of the microphone which is why i told you to speak into the side with the blue that's exactly what that heart shape pattern means if you're a streamer that's definitely going to be the best way to do it I like to set my gain here at in around 12 o'clock, but depending on your setup and your streaming room, that may differ. So if you want to change that, play around with it and see. But the gain is either going to lower your volume or increase your volume when you're speaking into the microphone and the, the signal that's being sent to your computer. These other settings we don't need, really need to worry about, but again, if you do want to learn more about them, check out the article on our website, getonstream.com. I'll link that in the description and you can see what these others do here. For example, the circle, that'll take in sound from all around the microphone. So if you were filming something like a podcast and you only had one microphone, you might want to use that. But for streaming, the setting that looks like a little heart, that's how I remember it. Go ahead and use that and then speak into this side of the microphone. So that's essentially how I would recommend using this microphone. I would recommend definitely putting your little filter on here. You can also buy a separate pop filter to attach uh, to your microphone as well, which will, you know, help to remove any popping sounds from your voice. And then I would recommend getting an arm. And honestly, I would not recommend getting this arm. This is a newer arm right here. You'll find these on Amazon a lot. However, a lot of the times if I like bump my mic, you'll get this springy noise from these little things here. There is more expensive ones that we recommend to get on our website that I'm definitely gonna upgrade to here in the future. Uh, but for now, you know, if you're on a cheap budget, it is okay. You can just also use the stand that your Blue Yeti comes from. But I like to have the arm so I can, you know, move it about if I'm streaming uh, and changing directions or whatever, I can move it around. That's it for the physical microphone. Let's go ahead and jump into the computer. And this is where you're going to get the biggest leap in sound quality is by these three simple settings I'm going to show you on the computer. So let's go ahead, jump in there. I will show you that. So I'm inside Streamlabs right here and you can see in my mixer, I've got my microphone activated. If you haven't went ahead and done that, you can add a new source, add an audio source. So you wanna come over here to audio input capture, add source, and then you just select your microphone, which is going to be the microphone Yeti stereophone microphone. I'm gonna delete that. I've already added it, but make sure you've added it in. So you can see over here, I've got this one on the right hand side. So on this microphone, Yeti stereo microphone, what we want to do is come down here to this little cog, select it, and then select filters. And there's three specific filters that we want to add to our microphone. And these three settings are gonna completely change the quality of your audio. If you've been having issues with like background noise or the hum of your PC, this is gonna completely change the game for you. So in here, we want to go ahead and add in first a noise gate and i just recommend going ahead and using the exact same settings 
that I'm using right here. So a noise gate is gonna control when your microphone open and closes. So we wanna set the threshold here. I set mine to minus 54 for the close threshold and minus 37 for the open threshold. The attack time, hold time, and release time, I'd recommend setting these exactly the same way I have them right here. And then you can mess around a little bit. If you find that, you know, your microphone's being cut off or isn't opening early enough, you know, you have to speak really, really loud to open it, then I would recommend increasing that open threshold op up a little bit uh, to help that open earlier. Then I'd recommend going ahead and sliding that up a bit, play around with it till you get the perfect amount for you. But that's gonna stop stuff like, you know, on your keyboard when you're typing, it's gonna, you know, not capture that sound. It's not gonna pick that up. And again, we're gonna add some other stuff which helps with that as well. So again, down here in noise suppression, I like to have a suppression level of minus 40 and use speaks lower CPU usage. You're not going ahead uh, and eating up your CPU add that as well. The next one is a compressor. So again, a lot of different uh, options here, but again, I just recommend using the exact same ones I've got set here. Our ratio as 10, our threshold as minus 18, our attack as six, release as 60, output gain as zero, and then none here for sidechain ducking source. And then gain, again, this just depends on how your mic is sounding. I've added a little bit in here in Streamlabs. I also use this microphone in OBS uh, to do video recordings for YouTube like this, and I don't use any gain at all. So you don't necessarily need the gain, but if you find it's a little bit low, you can pick this up a little bit and slide it up. I've got mine here at 1.5. But these four settings, mainly these three, and you don't need to worry too much about the gain. You can pick that up obviously on your physical microphone like I showed you earlier. But these three settings are gonna completely change your audio for your stream setup. It's gonna make your Blue Yeti get the best possible sound quality out there. And you're gonna have really good quality audio on your stream. So that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you're new here and check out some of the other videos on the channel or check out our website, getonstream.com. Head over there for a ton of articles on streaming and growing your stream. See you guys in the next one.